I have very high expectations of myself. I'm really happy with the amount of opportunities that they've been giving me. I consider myself a leader. I feel like uh, I'm really growing into a, into a good player here. My hard work and my dedication, I'm just trying to put every single detail in my game to improve. With the academy season in full swing, competition for places and game time is heating up at the New York Red Bulls Academy. Local rivals New York City FC are coming to town for an eagerly anticipated derby, and every player is hoping for a chance to impress when it matters. We're playing our big derby match against NYCFC. It's a match against local rival. The, the players are really looking forward to it. It's always a measuring stick for us. They want to test themselves against the best that's out there. And NYCFC always, always one of the top academies around as well. It's interesting. It'll be nice to actually play for a trophy at the end of the day. So I think there'll be a little bit extra intensity in the match as well. I'm lucky to be back with the U17s for um, the New York Derby. It's my first derby with New York, so I'm really excited to get into it, and uh, I can kind of feel the passion from both teams in today. I expect myself to do very well. I think the coach should expect myself to. Um, you know, being at a very high level, I think I can come down and, you know, have a good uh, impact on the game and try bring my teammates into it and try to get the win any, any way we can. Every game, of course, it's a tough opposition, but every game I, feel I have, I, I back my team to come out here and play well win the game so I'm happy to I'm actually happy to be down here playing this game because I feel like I can really bring a lot to the team today I mean for me I just hold high standards for everyone on the field you know just making sure me as a player I do my part and I help the others do their part as well the Audi Goals Drive uh, Progress Initiative is just massively important for our club. You know, it, it, it enables us to have you know, education, host families, and transportation, which are three huge pillars. Scholar Athletes Leadership Academy, we, we first started a relationship with them about two years ago. It provides a professional environment for them where they have a flexibility in their day to, to be uh, trained with the first and second teams. They put a lot of emphasis on the, the players and on the kids being um, leaders in the community, and that's another reason why we chose Salah as our partner. The relationship with New York Red Bulls Academy has been absolutely superb. The scholar athletes that we house at Salah are all what we would describe as gifted and talented athletes. Um, on the pitch, they're striving for greatness, they're looking at professional pathways, and they're trying to earn themselves that much, uh, much sought after contract. Um, by being here, we develop a personalized workflow that speeds up or slows down according to academic attainment and provides the flexibility they need built into their rigorous schedule that allows them to provide a parallel pathway towards college or career. My name is Bento Ishella. I'm 15 years old. I play center mid for the New York Red Bulls. Growing up, I was just playing for fun and just playing with my friends. And then when I knew I wanted to take it serious, I, I started training extra, putting extra work in, and it really helped me off the field and on the field. And like I'm just trying to put every single detail in my game to improve. Bento started out U14 team last year, then he moved up to the 15s with, with the 17s a little bit, and then eventually progressed uh, to the 19s. And so we knew going into this year that he was on a professional pathway. When I signed my professional contract, it was exciting and emotional for me and my family because it had been a goal of mine for years, and it was just a blessing to, to sign. For, for Bento, it's not just necessarily being a professional soccer player. Like he has, he has to uh, still go through what a normal 15-year-old would go to, which is, which is school. He's just doing it in a non-traditional way. And met with Salah and thought that Salah was going to be a great fit, that was going to be able to help him with everything he needed from the academic side, but also from the social and you know, the, the mentoring side that Salah is able to offer. And I think they've done a fantastic job. The teachers here are very supportive and helpful. It hasn't been easy, but like I've been trying my best coming into school. The flexibility has been really good. I'm just going by day by day and staying focused and just working hard every day so I could imagine myself playing at a big stadium. Valo arriving, waiting for help. It's Duncan again. Kyle Duncan, second chance. And he puts it away. Kyle Came to trial for New York Red Bulls when I was 14. Being that, you know, like my hometown is not too far from here, from Bed-Stuy, um, I was very, very happy to play for Red Bulls, you know. Um, it was a bit of a distance for me because, you know, school was in Brooklyn and my dad sacrificed, you know, like working sometimes and going out of his way just to bring me here. So I wasn't the most aggressive player. 
outspoken or loud, you know? That's something I really learned to hold my ground, even as a small player. Just going to the match with the right attitude um, and just going to the match with the right um, energy, you know, like, don't let up. Back then, I don't think I really knew much about New York City FC. We're two New York City-based teams, and we just want to let them know that, like, we're the better team. A lot more MLS versus MLS competition. It really provides the players the, the best opportunity to test themselves against the other best. Even though this is an academy game, it feels like a, a professional level game. You know, we've got camera crews, we've got sponsors, you know, every, everything that goes into this game. It, it's really more important than any regular academy game, and I think I can bring that intensity to it. The energy and the tempo exactly. and the speed of play, you must outwork them. There for Red Bull early on, a lot of great talent that's come out. Guys, let's go. We will guys. win the first and second balls, all right? Yeah. yeah. Come on. So what we're going to do, come on. Yo, Yo boys. Five, five, six, six. Come out with a lot of energy, we're just smash them down the throat. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, we put one yeah. in, then we put two in. Yeah. Come on. Yep. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's go. Win the direct ball. Win the second ball battle. The intensity has to be MLS level, right? It's an unbelievable feeling, you know, finally being able to have a piece of hardware, you know, for this team that has worked so hard throughout COVID and throughout the, the season that they've had, it's been really tough for us and it's really good to get a trophy. It's a test of two different styles and it's almost, you know, which style will win out on the day. For us, it's high tempo, high energy right from the get-go. I don't think it would even matter with our players if there's a trophy on the line. Can you get your chance? Can you showcase yourself? And then are you deserving of that next call up, whether it's to the 19s, 23s, or the USL team? With New York bragging rights secured, the Academy players can enjoy their moment of glory. But a final MLS challenge awaits. Next time on the Academy, we'll see the Red Bulls make the trip to Philadelphia as the stars of tomorrow look to secure a spot with the first team squad before the summer break.